do a quick video showing you why your vents in your house might be warmer or colder um, in some rooms versus another. Uh, either it's the whole house have um, a change in temperature, a drastic change, or it could be just specific uh, vents. Like in my case, two of my rooms had 20 degree change in temperature, it made no sense. I'm in Florida, it's the middle of the summer, so I have the, um, the you know, the, the cold on, air conditioner on. About a week and a half ago, um, two of my rooms, the bedroom and the, ma the bathroom in the master bedroom, and we're blowing 20 degree warmer temperature. It made no sense. Of course, you think it'd be duct work, but it wasn't duct work. Um, the answer was, believe it or not, cheap electrical fix, relay. A little small little relay you can get Amazon for 20 some bucks. So I, I found, it, found this out today, and that was the issue. Because you, you, you wouldn't think a, a relay would affect the certain rooms. You affected, affected the whole house. But all it is is a relay can cause your heat or your air conditioning, all depends if you're in summer or winter, to um, both turn on the same time, which is what happened to me. And the only way you're going to know, like in the sum summer, uh, if the heat kicks on, if you can smell it kick on, like you normally do in the winter, you smell it kick on. Um, I wasn't home, so I didn't know. But if you smell it, then you know you have a bad relay, and it means, it means it's going to be running both at the same time, like it was for me for about a week and a half. You know, you don't want to call and pay a lot of money for some guy to come to your house. You want to, in my mind, I'm thinking it's a vent, dark work, or something happened. Somebody closed a vent. Nope. All it was was a cheap uh, relay on Amazon, which I have coming in the mail. Right now, I just, I just disconnected the relay for now. Let me show you what it looks like. This is my garage. This is my system. I have a, an attic duct work system. Pull this cover off. See the re relay one, one, two. You know what I mean, there's a. Uh, you can see the nipple. I disconnected that. That's for the heat. It was on in the middle of the summer because that's bad right there. I ordered a part. It's gonna come in about. It's gonna come in in about a couple days from Amazon. I'm gonna replace it. So I don't need the heat on now, anyways. But in the winter, it'll. Right there. That's the air conditioner. You see them. That's connected because that's the air conditioning. So all it was was the relay was for the the heat relay was on and I didn't know there's no way to know because your thermostat's doing the work you don't realize it only reason I noticed it was 20 degree de difference in temperature and all the videos online they say it's all kinds of stuff they say it could be then in reality I'm, I'm thinking this happens quite often and it's just a bad relay so whether it's your whole house or certain rooms a relay can affect the temperatures in different rooms um, it's weird it's just how the heat heat moves if you, you put a lot of heat into a cold system that heat just wants to go a certain way and it, it just happens to want to go to my way. And it, it's a simple system. It's not a, my system is just like yours, probably at your house. It's, it goes up, big long shaft, and that's it. But the smaller shaft is, uh, goes this way, and that's probably what happened. It wanted to go to the bigger shaft, you know what I mean? But never had a problem until now. So, so guess what? Um, a relay, a defective relay, can cause a drastic heat and vent temperature by 20 degrees in different areas, not just the whole house. It could be your whole house too, obviously, because you'll see your, your thermostat would be fighting to keep its temperature the whole time. So that's it. So I would recommend just getting two relays. If, you, if you're going on Amazon, order two relays. You know what I mean? Say you disconnect it, you know what I mean? And you put the other one back in, you might as well just leave it in there. It don't cost that much. Because I would get two relays on mine instead of one. And of course, before you do any work, turn off your power and your main. You know what I mean? And there you go. Again. You have a good one, I hope, hope this helps you. Um, I learned the hard way, and hopefully I help you out by just replacing your relay. Easy fix, bye-bye.